Coming up in less than 10 seconds now, we'll be crossing into the sphere of influence of the moon. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 conspiracy theories about the moon. Well, are you going to teach us about space or what? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number 10. The Moon Doesn't Exist The only reason NASA was founded in 1958 was to keep this thing under wraps. We'll start with what would appear to be a big one, that the entire thing just isn't real. For those claiming this, there are a few supposed explanations, one of which we'll look deeper into in a later entry. But for now, it's flat Earth. Antarctica has stretched around the entire outer edge like an ice wall. The sun and the moon are very, very small, and the stars are just lights in the sky. As one of the most bizarre and controversial conspiracy theories going, there aren't many aspects of the natural world that flat Earth hasn't sought to rewrite in one way or another. And with the moon, according to some interpretations, it's little more than a large, probably artificial light that's installed onto the ceiling of a grand dome. The dome then covers the whole of flat Earth with no further satellites or orbiting worlds required. This B.O.B. BS about the Earth being flat is getting out of control. Can you please help us? All right, ho hold my sandwich. Oh. Number nine, Buzz Aldrin's Secret Communion. This is, of course, the great day for mankind when we leave our planet Earth and set foot on the moon. So on this historic day, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin are in their lunar module, in their spacesuits. On this next pass, they are preparing uh, to undock. In 1969, in the time between the Eagle module landing on the moon and the astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin exiting it for the first ever moon walk, Aldrin took Holy Communion, complete with bread and wine that he had brought from Earth. However, due to rising public debate at the time and some high-profile lawsuits regarding the separation of church and state, NASA declined to broadcast the specifics to the world, and the event was mostly hushed up. The general murkiness of what happened has before led some to wonder about some kind of higher purpose for the moon. Add into the equation that Aldrin is also a Freemason and that he reportedly established Tranquility Lodge number 2000 on the moon while he was there, and the questions increase. We copy it down, Eagle. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Number 8. Nuclear Moon. People are dying up here, John. The virus infection? The virus infection. There's a couple of different ways to look at this one. First, there's the question of why we don't just send our nuclear waste to the moon to get it out of sight and out of mind. The main reason is cost. But for some, it's still seemingly too brilliant of an idea for it not to already be happening, with the moon's fabled dark side being the primary spot for a proposed nuclear dumping ground, if there is one. Second, though, there's the issue of the moon's origin to consider. The giant impact hypothesis is the leading theory today, arguing that the moon formed when the ancient Earth crashed into another early planetoid, which then splintered and ultimately settled to become the moon. The divergence begins when a Mars-sized object hits Earth. The impact makes our planet spin faster. However, one alt theory is that actually the moon formed following an early and massive nuclear explosion. While it's not widely accepted, advocates claim that the young Earth experienced a huge nuclear reaction, ripping through its core and mantle until what's now the moon was effectively ejected out into space. Number seven, the moon is a hologram. I observed the universe winking. How can it be happening? Can't. Next, and this is the more specific it doesn't exist claim mentioned at the beginning of this list. In general, the idea is that the moon is nothing more than an elaborate hologram, a projection beamed into place for unknown reasons. The most often cited evidence for this is the lunar wave, an apparent phenomenon caught on camera by multiple people and widely distributed across the internet and social media. Clips show what appears to be a ripple or wave that spreads across the moon as you look at it. There have been various counterclaims put forward to insist that any seeming wave can be explained by science and nature, or just faulty technology. But for conspiracy theorists, this is some cold hard proof that the moon is glitching or reloading because it's a wholly digital construct. Is it true? 
Tell me there's been some kind of mistake. Oh, I wish I could, but the math actually checks out, so it's happening. Number six, alien bases. From 1969 to 1972, NASA's six Apollo moon landings defined a golden age in space exploration. The awesome imagery of those missions made history, but some people believe that this image reveals a secret history. Mainstream science says that while alien life is statistically likely, we still haven't discovered it. It's what's known as the Fermi Paradox. With the moon, though, there are countless claims that actually we have discovered it. Theorists say that alien civilizations have long established bases and structures on the moon, and again, particularly on the unseen dark side. Such ideas often rely on alleged photographic evidence showing what appears to be buildings, machines, or general anomalies on the lunar surface. I was in kind of shock, and some of the craters would actually show domes and actual bases Bases on the moon? Kent's talking about these rounded dome-shaped objects in the middle of one of the craters. There's also the irresistible element that if an alien force were watching us, then from the moon would be the ideal position for them. This part ties in with what's known as the zoo hypothesis, a proposed cosmic model in which aliens watch over humans like humans do with animals at the zoo. Our ancestors were like the tiny mammals who survived by hiding. But it appears you have ceased to be afraid. Why do you say that? You contacted another planet. Number five, Nazi moon landings. Nazi scientists, some of them tied to war crimes, including horrific concentration camp experiments, brought to the U.S. in a secret program to advance American security interests during the Cold War. At the end of World War II, there began one of the most uncomfortable and complex episodes in modern American history, Operation Paperclip. This was the infamous recruiting by the U.S. of former Nazi scientists in a bid to better science and technological research in the emerging space race against the USSR. History shows how America ultimately won the race, largely as a result. However, with all of that as a backdrop, conspiracies have long been whispered that America performed so well with German help because the Nazis had already been to the moon. German aerospace engineer Werner von Braun is the founding father of rocket science. Werner von Braun was a genius. May have been a Nazi, but he was a genius. Versions of the theory differ, but it's claimed that Hitler's army made it to the lunar surface sometime during the early 1940s. Importantly, there's no evidence for this, but the claim exists all the same. American rocket was based on V-2 technology. The first Russian rocket was essentially just a V-2. How difficult is it to believe that the Nazis pushed their technology just that little bit further? Number four, hollow moon. The inference is that the moon must be hollow because the moon is made predominantly on the surface of a kind of rock called basalt. Although it's a very lightweight rock, it also absorbs impact extremely well. Look up at the sky at night, particularly on a full moon, and you may well marvel at the sheer size of our glowing satellite. It's a pretty substantial mass, and yet one of the most infamous conspiracy theories about the moon says that actually it's not quite so solid as it may appear. In general, there are two avenues down which theorists tread. One is that, despite its apparent sturdiness, the moon is actually a structurally weakened world, littered with holes and tunnels, to the point that, on its inside, it's basically empty. The other, though, is that the moon is actually fully hollow because it's an entirely artificial structure. Here again, supporters argue that the hollowed-out interior is made that way specifically to house alien beings, keeping them from the view of Earth. To put it bluntly, the moon is a megastructure. Did you get it? Huge! And artificial. Whoever built this incredible thing must think we're a pathetic species. Scientific evidence overwhelmingly supports the idea of a solid lunar core, however. Number three, spaceship moon. What was amazing about this is that suddenly the moon began to ring like a bell and did so for nearly an hour. An extension of hollow moon, this theory says that not only are there vast open spaces inside the moon, and not only are those spaces occupied by extraterrestrial creatures, but the moon is also not a moon at all. It's a spaceship, an ancient alien craft positioned in Earth's orbit for undisclosed reasons that could presumably jet off at any time if it wanted to. Please don't ask. It's highly likely our moon was built by aliens. 
We have to get inside and make first contact. I told you not to ask. Of course, with such an out there take on our closest celestial neighbor, there have been various ideas put forward as to why an alien vehicle might have docked right next to us. For example, some have applied the lab hypothesis, a close relation to the zoo hypothesis, which suggests that any watching alien race might also be experimenting on humankind and life on Earth in general, with or without any regard for our well-being. Don't even get me started on eclipses. They're only possible because the moon is exactly 400 times smaller than the sun and exactly 400 times closer to the Earth. Does anyone know how that happened? Uh... Because the moon's a megastructure? Yeah, someone's paying attention. Number two, fake moon landing, part one. And when you're down here in the crowd and you look up, it, it looks pretty big and you don't think about it too much. But when you get a different vantage point, it changes your perspective. Over and above every other conspiracy theory involving the moon, there's this. First, we'll look at the how, and then we'll look at the why. Broadly, the claim is that NASA faked the 1969 moon landing, and likely all subsequent moon landings thereafter, simply to ensure that they beat the Soviet Union in the eyes of the watching world. Roger, the EVA is progressing beautifully. Uh, I believe they're setting up the flag now. The director, Stanley Kubrick, is famously said to have been commissioned by NASA to produce the fake footage in a hurriedly constructed TV studio. It has also been claimed that Arthur C. Clarke wrote the script and that Walt Disney provided the funding, although Disney died two and a half years before the landings were made. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number one, fake moon landing, part two. Hello, Neil and Buzz. I'm talking to you by telephone from the Oval Room at the White House. And this certainly has to be the most historic telephone call ever made from the White House. I just can't tell you how proud we all are of what you have done. According to the theory, why did they do it? There have been multiple suggestions tabled in the years since. For one, and again, to gain victory over the USSR and to assert America as the dominant nation of the time. It's also been said that it was all hoaxed as part of a massive nationwide psychological drive, however, to get the American public on side with increased military spending, which may have seemed closely aligned. Because of what you have done, the heavens have become a part of man's world. And as you talk to us from the sea of tranquility, it inspires us to redouble our efforts to bring peace and tranquility to Earth. Given that much of the original footage from the 1969 landings has also since been mistakenly erased by NASA, this is a theory that has just refused to go away. Over the years, almost every aspect of it has been debunked, from the movement of the flags to the shadows on the ground. But for conspiracy theorists, there's just no denying that it never actually happened. I promise to let you know if I stop breathing. <laughs> Which of these theories are you most intrigued by? Which do you find most convincing or most laughable? Let us know in the comments. They've harnessed the building blocks of the universe! No one look at me. I might cry. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.